Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today what we are going to be doing is what you see on my screen and that is going to be very simple. Okay, every single step or every single thing you need to know to be able to um, have this design made, you know, I'm just going to walk you through it. So if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started, I want to recommend Canva Pro to you. As usual, that's what I use and I believe that since I found the benefit of Canva Pro, it's also good to be able to share it with you. So there's a link in the description box below that can help you to get Canva Pro at a very cool price. Or if you are looking to just try out Canva Pro, the same link can help you to try Canva Pro for free for 30 days. So if this is something you're also interested in, kindly find the link in the description box below. So let's get started and let's see what we are going to be creating today all right so this is the design we are going to be making and you can see it's very easy and very simple so i'll just click on a new page and the dimension is 1080 by 1350 okay so i just come into element no photos first you understand and um, with the shadow element i'll be using you can find it in the description box there's a link to a google drive i uploaded it there some few days ago so you should find it there okay so I just come to see all okay and uh, i'm just going to use the same image i used okay and then i just give you the description of how you can find it so this is the first image so you just have to search for athlete girl you understand so um you just have to search for it and um, add it to your design so then position it somewhere here okay yeah depending on how you want it to look you can just position maybe i'll just reduce the size come to position and center okay then this is another one so clouds and blue sky so um you can also search for that okay then i just click and add it to my design so i just position it here and increase the size okay so now that we've increased the size we want to bring you know the athlete's lady in front so right click and bring to front then duplicate it okay so you can see i've duplicated it and Make sure it's directly on top of the old one, okay, or the initial one. Then we come to edit image and edit image, we click on BG remover. So in this case, Canva will take its time to do its thing. And this is one of the benefits of Canva Pro. That's why I would want you to at least try Canva Pro for free. So the link down there would help you to get Canva Pro for free. If you are still insisting on using the free version of Canva, what you can do is you can go to websites like remove the BG if you always get to you know follow my tutorials i'm sure by this time you know remove the bg you know um, sticker mule and all of these things so you can try those websites the links are also down in the description box below so i think my um the background has been removed so let's go back and let's continue okay so you can see everything is looking beautiful i click on apply come back to element and um, i now go into my upload so in this case what i'm going to do now is i'm going to search for the element i used okay which is the gradient shadow so i have it in there i just have to take my time and go to so you, you can see same design um saving post so i just have to give it some time uh for it to um, save completely okay so this is the element the gradient element i was talking about and like i was saying you can find it in the description box below there's a link to a google drive to help you get it okay so once you add it what you're coming to do now is you come to edit image and in edit image you are going to click on dual tone you okay so once you click on dual tone um it would have to load so that we can get to apply anything we want to apply on it so you can see we have so many options over here but just double click on any of the options we have over here it would apply on your um, gradient shadow but you know we will still have to adjust the color so in the highlight click on it select white come to the shadow click on it and select white okay so in this case after you do it um click on apply and you know everything should work but you can see over here it's saying that um saving post so we'd have to okay it's done okay so now that we've done that what we would have to do is um you know you can spread this one out okay first okay then double click on it and pull it up okay so that it covers the whole thing or you can make it exceed and um, you know position and center it then let's move it to the side here a little bit 
and you realize that we remove the image of one of these um athlete girls so the first one on top is the um the removed one so press control and click and click this time around it was difficult to see okay so now we've selected the background so it means that this is the first one press control and click now i'm on the second one and i just crop it down okay so once i copy down this is how it's going to be like you understand then we position the gradient shadow on the cutout um, part or where the two images are meeting okay then we send it to the back so you can click on position and send it backward then we duplicate it so once you duplicate it you can come to flip and um, you can click no i think it's vertical sorry i've, I've forgotten my <laughs> um <laughs> how to sorry i just forgot I, I just don't know what i'm saying okay so once we do this we can just click on it and also send it to the back so you can see how it's looking and um, just use your arrow key to position it nicely so that you know we don't really see the difference okay so you see how everything is looking very nice it's a, a very smooth um transition okay so we can just select the um the image behind okay then come to edit image come to adjust with the saturation we can reduce it a little bit okay or if the um the two gradients are just too much it, um on your image what you can do is the one at the top you can move it to the top okay then um we would want to send the clouds image also to the top okay okay so let it meet just over there okay then we can also move this shadow okay so we are moving no we want to move the shadow first okay so i click again click and move the shadow also to the top you understand so that we can at least see a lot of these things and this at least makes it look realistic you know in a way so you can see how beautiful this is looking it looks like um, one image on this one so click on the image we have on top come to edit image in edit image come to adjust and over here we would increase the contrast and increase the saturation to boost the colors okay then press t on your keyboard to add your text and um, if your t is missing or it's on a vacation you can just come to text okay so when you click on text you see add a head and then you can just click on it so you can put anything over here so i can just say marathon okay like i did before m-a-r-a-t-h-o-n okay so i select all and i change my font type to champion gothic but you can use any other one you prefer so i just made it big okay and i just maybe drop it down a little bit and send it to the back okay so you can see how this looking so you can see then i just added another text on top so let me just place this here and maybe drop it down a little bit so all i was just saying is your design journey is not a sprint but a marathon a very cool and simple so you can adjust the colors according to how you want it but this is what i did and this is how i was able to achieve this design so i hope you found this tutorial simple and easy a very simple one um, i believe you can create inside the canva the name is benjamin and don't forget there is no limit to creativity i have so many canva tutorials you can check out on my channel if you want more canva tutorials make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget again the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video